Now, I don't always do these like in 10 second things, but I thought in today's video we have to because the hype is real. So like in the next 10 seconds if you're excited for the Season X event and don't want your game to crash. Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. Just to let you know guys, this video does not include any spoilers or anything like that because these tapes are actually in game right now. All you gotta do is go and land at the cube and retail row, collect them, and this little voiceover will play for you guys, which I'm gonna put on screen in a second. I recommend staying tuned throughout the entire video today though because I've broken down a lot of Save the World storyline and a lot of the Battle Royale storyline, including voice actors, and we're gonna be diving deep into potentially who the visitor actually is and what this tape is actually telling us. This is tape one, and we can expect at least three other, uh, sorry, two other tapes to be kind of played back to us, which we're gonna be breaking down tomorrow and probably the day after, if, if that's when the challenges come out for them. If not, obviously I'll do it whenever. But yes, smash that subscribe button. Let's get into this. Here is the tape audio. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island, that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. Wow. That is quite a mouthful and it's quite complicated. So, to be honest, I'm not too sure where to start with it, but I have been writing down a lot of notes and working this out. It is very complicated, some of the words they do use, to be honest, and I understand if many of you don't understand it. And myself, I have been struggling, but I have been breaking it down as much as possible. So, we're going to start off with the first tape that you pick up. You actually get the first audio snippet. So, I'll just play it again so you know which section that is. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. Okay, so to break this down for everyone out there, the first thing he mentions is there are seven of us. Now, obviously, we already know what the seven are. We've seen it on the scientist skin and we've seen it on the visitor skin. It's pretty clear to us that the seven are the scientist, the visitor, and whatever else that is out there. Very interesting, very cool, and this is so exciting to know this is happening. Now the next part of this line is where the visitor goes and says, I suspect that they are not the only ones watching. They implying the other five versions of the visitor, the scientist, whatever creature, monster, human, beast, Vindatech, whatever this is, this is part of the actual process of the event these five people are out there somewhere watching because he suspects that they are then the next statement is but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever now the bridge is probably the teleportation the dimension the different universe that we've seen with the zero point or potentially the link between them so it's like a normal bridge in Fortnite and it's just bridging two worlds together or several worlds. Worlds collide, kind of. And he's basically saying, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. So we could be lost and he may never be able to return home. That is what I am gathering from this. So let's move on to the next section. I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island, that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. Okay, so this next section is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. You guys are going to be a little bit confused with some of the stuff I'm showing on screen, and I'm confused myself, but let me try and explain this the best I can to you guys. Alright, so I speculated that no one calculated the formation of the island. This one's pretty obvious. This is talking about how the island developed throughout season 4 or season 3, basically season 1 to 10, but mainly season 3 to 10 when the visitor started actually to come in play. So that's pretty cool. Little cool statement there. Then the next little line is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. It states that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push so what he's trying to express here is how for example the cube the dark element which came through has kind of appeared he's basically talking about how this is going to resolve rather than push forward on the island and cause events and stuff like that that's what i kind of gather from this anyway so he's basically saying it's going to resolve naturally for example the orb the cube all that sort of stuff the meteor could cancel each other out during the event you may not actually see any of them do anything which is a nice little thing and a nice little statement there. 
The next line states that now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. Now, that is quite interesting because what he's stating there is he's experienced this. He's been on the map since season four. Maybe he didn't leave with the rocket. He's been watching us this entire time on our world and the scientists came through the pod in the meteor. So this is something very interesting to break down. Now I could talk about this for a while and I am going to a little bit and kind of go over what I've exactly got for you guys because there's quite a bit of science behind this side of stuff. So pinching is the word I want to focus in on here. So it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. So what is that? pinching side of stuff. Now, I decided to break it down a little bit further and look online what pinching was in a science term. Now, pinching is actually plasma physics. Now, personally, I haven't done physics since early school, so I wouldn't be able to explain all the terms in this very well. But I've done a little bit of studying and looking around, and it basically talks about the conductor is usually a plasma but could also be a solid or liquid metal so saying basically pinch what it does a pinch is the compression of an electrical conducting filament by magnetic forces yeah complicated but here are some different types of pinching if you're interested you've got uncontrol uncontrolled sheet pinch z pinch and just loads of other different types of science terms for pinching so basically, this is how the stuff is happening in the game. It's pinching, and this is basically what is going to happen, because the word inevitable, if I can say it correctly, I keep saying it wrong, basically means that it's going to happen. It's not not going to happen. So that is really awesome, and that is something to note. So he's witnessed it firsthand, and it's obviously the pinching alone made it inevitable. So that's what's made this itself happen, which means potentially the interdimensional stuff could auto resolve and he's describing that right there saying it's due to pinching alone that made it inevitable for this to happen but we've still got two other tapes to come in place before we go further into this so you know obviously we've got tomorrow hopefully where we get the next tape and the following tape these are like teasers up to the season 11 event share this video with as many people as possible by the way guys it's really in depth I've really broken this down. I'm really proud about it because it's pretty cool. I'm going to be relating this to Save the World a little bit because the voice actor for The Visitor sounds very familiar. It sounds a lot like Dr. Vinderman, who is the creator of the Vindatech, which is V-Box and everything that we have today. This is something from Save the World, by the way, guys. So I want to go into that a little bit further. But first, listen to two comparisons that I'm going to put on screen in a second for you guys. These are actually taken from some files that I have from Save the World, which I've had for a very long time, and obviously the recent tape, which you've just heard. So listen to this now. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but... It must be done, or we lose the bridge forever. As a dead man, I may not be the best source of stick to we've got. I only have the knowledge and memories that Dr. Vinderman gave me. If the original couldn't do it, what's an AI copy like me supposed to do? Okay, so now you've heard that, you can see that the voices are very similar. The first one was obviously The Visitor, and the second one was Dr. Vinderman. Now, Dr. Vinderman is the creator of the Vindertech industry, like I said, and that is something which you've got to consider because he was one of the first people to create everything. He is the founder of everything. Vindertech, the creator of Ray in Save the World, the designer of the Storm Shield, and multiple other storm defenses as well, which are in Save the World, but also we have the storm inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, Dr. Vinderman uses tapes throughout the Save the World storyline to kind of tell his story. And there are a lot of AIs of Dr. Vinderman as well in the Fortnite Save the World storyline, if you've played it. So could this potentially mean that the visitor or the scientist or the seven a part of Dr. Vinderman's crew, maybe it's him, maybe it's not, maybe it's people that knew him, maybe it's who he worked with, are these his inventions? We don't exactly know, and I think it's something to consider because obviously we've seen with the battle bus, it has the big V on it, it's got the Vindertech signs, it's clearly Vindertech, so are we going to get it in Battle Royale? We've seen a crossover between Save the World and Battle Royale recently with them adding pickaxes, emotes and stuff, 
both ways. We've had the Save World pickaxes come over to or Harvesting Souls because that's what they're officially called. Come over to Battle Royale, and then obviously we've had all of the Battle Royale stuff go over to Save the World, other than the main skins or outfits. So that's pretty cool. So maybe. I don't know. It's something that you guys should discuss in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to cover it in the next two tape videos. Anyway, back on to Save the World. The storyline itself for Save the World can be a little bit complicated because sometimes you can spend about 40 minutes in missions, but there is a storyline there and I kind of know it. I don't know it 100% because there's it's hard to remember if I'm always playing Battle Royale and I kind of listen to a few voice lines and you can't listen to them back. I do understand Save the World quite well so I thought I would go in and play this brand new LTM which is timeless. So I was playing it a little bit and there's so much details which I can go into on this. I'm not going to do it today because I'm going to save it for the next two tape videos just in case because I don't want to waste like 30 minutes of this video because it would take like 30 minutes 20 minutes something like that to relate these two things because there's so much information on it I don't want to do that just yet just in case the other two tapes don't relate to this but so far the voices are sounding very very similar so I decided to go into the actual game listen to some of the voiceovers and I gathered some interesting stuff some pretty interesting stuff to be honest and it was very unexpected but as I was playing it one of the ones that really got me thinking was or you can turn to chapter two pushing the self-destruct button this was actually said by the director inside of the mission and i thought to myself hold on a minute this could be a big game changer are they hinting something that fortnite season 11 will be chapter two i don't know there's a lot of other stuff in it as well and like i said i will go into that into that tomorrow i've kind of given so much detail in this video my head is already kind of booming it's like whoa what is going on what is going on this has been one of them videos where it really has gone into a lot of depth and i hope it has helped you guys out understand the first two lines from the tapes i know they are pretty complicated and a lot of people probably wanted to know details about them but i've broken it down as much as i can for you guys and i hope it helps you out if it did smash that like smash that subscribe smash that notification bell i guess these are teasers for the season 11 event so really exciting stuff and who knows what's sorry season 10 event why did i say season 11 some really exciting stuff and i can't wait for the next one to come out so i can break it down for you guys and also, I can make the video on the details relating to Save the World and Fortnite in more depth, but it gives it a little overview for you guys, kind of giving you guys a little teaser of potentially what could happen in my next video, depending on what the tapes say. We don't know what they're going to say yet, but yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Smash that like, smash that comments, smash that subscribe button. If you guys want to get gifted a skin or anything like that, let me know your epic game name down below. I do hope you guys have enjoyed, and once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.